The tour resumes after the rest day with 167 kilometres between Albi and Toulouse. A straightforward one on paper, but that's what some of the race favourites thought about stage 10 before losing a minute and 40 seconds in the crosswinds. Four men went up the road early on. Stefan Rossetto, a regular escapee on this tour, joined by his confidence teammate Anthony Perez, who was born in Toulouse. Another local Frenchman in there, Lilian Calmogel from Albi. Now, we're used to seeing De Gent in the break, but perhaps not this one. Emma De Gent from Wanty Group Gobert, no relation to the stage eight winner, Thomas. The sprint team's keeping them on a string. The gap between two and three minutes as they roll towards Toulouse. The big German engine of Tony Martin on the front for Jumbo Visma, looking for a fifth win today with Dylan Grunewagen. Lotto Sudal also helping out for Caleb Ewan. A warm-up at the intermediate sprint, Elia Viviani quickest from the bunch ahead of Peter Sagan and Sonny Colbrelli. It was all fairly easy going until 30k from the finish line, a crash in the peloton. Around 30 riders going to ground, including GC contenders Richie Port and Nido Quintana. They were soon escorted back to the pack, but it was game over for Nicky Terpstra, forced to abandon the tour with what looked like a broken collarbone. With 10k to go, De Gent had a final dig. He was never likely to resist the charging peloton, but he did earn himself the combativity prize. The Belgians swallowed up as the sprinters' teams jostled for position on the roads into Toulouse. It's Grunewagen, Ewan is challenging, Grunewagen, Caleb, he's the king, it's Caleb, he gets there. Well, having already sprinted to four podium finishes this year, Ewan finally takes his first Tour de France win, the Australian edging out Grunewagen by the finest of margins. Oh, to be honest, I can't believe it. Yeah, I was, uh, I've been close in the, in the last four sprints that I've done and uh, you know, my, my team never lost faith in me and you know, I never lost faith in my sprints and I knew if, if everything came together then I could be the, the fastest on the day and, and I think today I showed that. Well, for the first time since 1996, we've had 10 different winners for the first 10 individual stages of the Tour. Roger Kluger did a brilliant job bringing Ewan onto Grunewagen's wheel and the pocket rocket took care of the rest. His seventh victory of 2019 after a double at the Giro, he now has a stage win at all three Grand Tours. Only one change overall. Giulio Ciccone lost 12 minutes today, so Thibaut Pino is back into the top 10. Julian Alaphilippe still leads the defending champion, Geraint Thomas, by 1 minute and 12 seconds. The incredible Hulk remains in green. Sagan now has a 73-point lead over Viviani in second. There'll be a ninth day in polka dots for Tim Vellens tomorrow with two Category 1 climbs on the menu. And here's a man who's bound to be looking forward to the Pyrenees, Egan Bernal, who's still the best young rider. The race leader, but for how much longer, is the world number one, Alaphilippe.